morning, guys. I am sorry to post this early, but I need to get this out there. And you may have already seen this on my other channel, the Nate Guy One channel. So I'm going to cut to what I filmed earlier right now, and then I will be back to give you your morning show outro. Okay, guys, so this is a video that I never wanted to have to make, um, but I have been put in a position here where I have to make this video. Everybody knows that the cruiser has been giving me trouble recently. Sorry about this weird coloring here. And uh, I have been doing everything that I can do to try to stretch it out and make it last as long as I can while I try to get money together um, to get something else. I've been working with a mechanic who's been kind of telling me what to do along the way, and I've been doing that, taking each step, um, so that we can try to rule out things and try to figure out what the problem is. And, and that's been going good until yesterday when uh, I had swapped out the thermostat and on the way home it overheated on me again and then it just died. It died while I was driving completely dead. So I pulled off the road, um, I let it cool down for a little bit longer and then it allowed me to start it up and get two streets over to my house so I did get safely home, but the car is shot. It is completely dead. I can do nothing with it. I don't even trust it to take it down to the family dollar and back right now. So I am completely without a vehicle. I have a little bit of money saved up, but it is not very much at all. And as you guys know, my YouTube channels are both completely dependent on me being able to travel around. Whether it's abandoned places, the Bicentennial Barns, um, my morning shows, a lot of them I do them at the parks and things like that. You know, we just went out to the zoo, I had three episodes of the zoo. I have to be able to get around to do my jobs, you know, um, my eBay and my Etsy and everything like that. That requires me to be able to get around and buy things to bring home and resell and deliver. And, you know, not to mention just normal life requires me to have a car. So I am just, I'm in a very tough situation right now and I am reluctantly asking for your help. I have another video that I actually started to make that's a little bit more extensive, a little bit more fun than this, you know, kind of saying goodbye to the cruiser, showing a history of the cruiser and everything, you know, because that car has become just as much a staple in these channels as me. You know, you it's always me and the little red cruiser, and now that's over. So we need to move on to the next thing. And you guys know that I've been talking about buying an RV, which I'm not there yet. I'm obviously not there yet. That's a lot of money. But the next logical step so that I can continue on this path, continue traveling, um, traveling easier and better, is to get something like a conversion van. The good news is that I have found one. These things in good condition are very hard to come by. They're usually beat up, rusted out, you know, junky, just, just stained carpet and stained seats and everything. I have found a very, very nice one for a great price. Um, so through several different outlets and platforms, I need to raise about $5,000 as quickly as I possibly can. Now, if you're not into this kind of thing, I completely understand. A lot of people see this as e-begging, and, you know, that's not what it is at all. You know, all of you come to these channels and watch my content because you love it. That content takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of money to create. And with something like this being an interruption, not having a vehicle, I can't do that. I can't create the content. I can't get out there and travel. I can't get to the Bicentennial Barns. I can't get to the YouTuber meetups. I can't get to the abandoned buildings. I, I, I can't continue to do this without a vehicle. So I am asking that if you love the content that you are seeing on this channel and you want it to continue, that you please consider offering some support of any kind. I appreciate anything you can do, and there are several outlets. Number one, I have started a GoFundMe. I will put a link to that in the description below, as well as pinned in the comments below. I do also still have a lot of stickers left. I have a lot of pins left. I have uh, a few other things for sale, like in my Etsy store. I just last night put up a bunch of Era skateboarding shirts from my old skateboarding company, if that interests you at all. And I have a lot of other ideas of things that I'm going to do. Um, very shortly here because I need to get the ball rolling and I need to get this money in here as soon as I possibly can so that I don't miss out on this van that I have found. Believe me, it is not easy for me to come on here and, and ask for help from you guys. I wish that I could just whip out the money and go get it myself, but I, I just, you know, this is completely unexpected. Even though I know that the car has been giving me some trouble for a little bit of time here, 
I really did not expect it to just totally conk out on me and be done. So um, I'm just in a tight spot, and this is this is what it is right now, guys. So if you can offer any kind of help, any kind of support, I appreciate it greatly. And stay tuned because I have a lot more awesome ideas coming up and things that I'm going to be doing to raise these funds. I appreciate each and every one of you so much, so much more than you can ever imagine, just for simply watching the videos and the content that I put out. Like I've said so many times before, it's just like an artist when he paints a picture. He just wants people to see it and appreciate it, and that's how I feel about my videos videos here. It is sad that the cruiser is gone. Um, like I said, <clears throat> I'm going to cry over a PT cruiser. Whew. Like I said, it's become just as much a staple in this channel as myself. And uh, so it's sad that the cruiser is gone. But here's looking to a better future with this channel. And if we can pull this off, we can get an awesome, awesome conversion van, and I can start traveling even more and staying overnight at, like, Walmart parking lots and stuff like that. I mean, I can only imagine the awesomeness that can be in the future here if we can pull this off. And like I said, that will be a stepping stone towards getting an RV later on down the road when I am more prepared. So guys, again, thank you so much just for watching, for subscribing, for leaving comments and thumbs up and even thumbs down, and any support that you can offer. I appreciate it so much. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching that. I don't even know what to say. I, I just feel, I feel horrible for even having to go this route. But, you know, when you're put in a situation like this, it's just kind of do or die. And um, this, this is my only option right at the moment. Again, I appreciate all of you so much and any support you can offer in this rough time right now. Wherever you guys are waking up, whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else. Pay it forward. And let's make this world a better place. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.